How we doing guys? So here we are, our seventh week, and we are almost halfway through the semester, if you could believe it. The fourth, or the first quarter rather, uh, the completion of it uh, is fast upon us here. Um, so what we have this week is really all we have that is due for a grade is a journal. So the journal topic is on the purpose of argumentation. So when we think about the word argument, we typically think about two people in some heated debate with each other. But really argumentation is a, it's a rhetorical method. It's supposed to be done in a uh, calm-headed, sober-minded, logical way. Of course, that's not always the case. Some people get carried away and scream and uh, engage in violence. Of course, if you're doing that, you're no longer arguing. You are, well enacting violence upon somebody, which is always unacceptable. Um, as you all know, but people in society today um, have lost their their moral uh, anchor, let's say, and think that actual violence is good, but linguistic violence, take that for what you will, uh, is actual violence. It's quite a topsy-turvy, goofy, through-the-looking-glass world we live in today. But in any case, I want you all to kind of reflect on that idea of argumentation. Look at the world today. Look at society today. Maybe confine your scope to America in general. Um, and this isn't to be very, you know, totally cynical or um, taking the black pill, as they say. You guys might know there's the, the red pill that lets you see if you take the red pill... You know, you see all of the the lies you've been told, you know, from the Matrix. You take the blue pill, you just keep on uh, traipsing about in your fake reality, uh, as usual. Uh, subscribing to all the lies that society tells you. And then there's the white pill, which is you're optimistic about reality. And the black pill is you're pessimistic about reality. Uh, that's just kind of the broad brush strokes of it. So I don't mean to subs or prescribe the black pill to you all. Um, I don't want to make it sound doom and gloom totally, but you don't have to be a sociologist to know that things are pretty tense right now in the country. Um, we certainly don't seem to think that sitting, uh, you know, sitting down with each other and talking about our disagreements is uh, worthwhile. We'd rather hurt each other, burn things down. Frederick Douglass famously said, War begins where reason ends. And you engage in reasonable argument with each other if you want to solve a problem. There's a problem in the country now. There's several problems worldwide, too. How are we going to resolve these things? Do we even care? Do we care about arguing in a uh, mature way, as outlined by the classical Greek philosophers like Aristotle? Um, do we care about those tried and true methods of argumentation? Or are we just out there to kind of hear ourselves talk, just belch out all of our political opinions just to hear ourselves talk because we like the sounds of our own voices? Is that what we're really doing today? Think about, think about Twitter and Facebook. I'm not on either one, or my accounts aren't active at least. I do very little social media, certainly not the big three, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Of course, I do these YouTube videos for instructional purposes. But when I used to be on Twitter, um, it was, it was, well, poisoning my mind might seem like an overstatement, but uh, it was negatively affecting me. I'm, I'm sort of clean and sober from all things social media. Okay, I, you guys might know people or be familiar with the AA system, maybe a friend or relative, and they have the chips so many years sober. Well, I'm, I don't know, so many months, years sober of Twitter, okay? Um, because people say all sorts of really mean, degrading, uh, vile things on Twitter. And that's not to say that's what the whole platform has become, but... You know, we hide behind our keyboards and just launch our little flamethrowers uh, denigrating each other. And I really think that it's causing us to degrade as a, as a civilization. 
Um, so I'm wondering if the whole enterprise of argumentation is even worthwhile. Um, I'm starting to get a little pessimistic, if, if you can't tell. I don't mean to impose that upon you all. Hopefully you're more optimistic about things than I am. So this is all at play with our journal entry uh, for the week. Um, that's all you have for a, an assignment, but remember, you just turned in your argument with no research, okay? Um, unless you found you had to add research because you absolutely had to look at a source. Of course, that's always the case. You never plagiarize, okay? I just didn't want you guys using heavy research. I wanted you to just kind of argue for or against your topic based on your own intuitions, what makes sense in your mind without having to rely on research. But now, not by the end of this week, but by the end of the following week, that's when your MLA research essay is due. Same topic as the argumentative that you just turned in, unless you feel like you must change topics because you're not finding any good research, okay? Ideally, you're sticking with the same topic because you're going to have a harder go with it if you have to change course in the middle of the whole thing and pick a new topic, okay? Some have asked me if your research has to come from Galileo, and that is yes. You have to satisfy the minimum source requirements from the Galileo databases. Um, I think I have that as three to four sources. Uh, double check on that real quick in the announcements. But once you've satisfied the minimum source count from the Galileo databases, then you are allowed to go and look at other sources from the internet. And yes, it is three to four Galileo found sources and the research paper is gonna be four to five pages. Okay, not, not by the end of this week, by the end of the following week. So that's gonna be October the 11th. Okay, the research, research uh, version of your paper will be due. Okay, some, not all, have come to me with um, asking for verification on topics. Um, and I think I've signed off on mostly all of them. Some of them I asked you to maybe reconsider or maybe approach it in a different way than how you might be approaching it at the time of emailing me. Um, so we should be full steam ahead. I, I do recommend, other than, of course, doing the journal this week, that you guys start getting some sources together, looking in the databases in Galileo. Remember, we talked last week about subject area in Galileo, uh, criminology, sociology, science, medicine, all your topics probably fall underneath one of those uh, categories, okay? Um, whether it be social issues, um, political issues, you know, we, we sort of want to engage in topical, controversial uh, uh, topics, okay? Um, now, some things, if they're really recent phenomenon, phenomena, plural, uh, they might not have a lot of research devoted by experts in the field because you got to keep in mind that once we stumble upon a new thing, a new idea, it, it takes a while for people to, um, you know, write, you know, their own papers using, uh, relying on research that they use for their papers too. This all takes time. And then there's a peer review process, um, vetting those, uh, data points, et cetera, et cetera. So depending on how recent your topic is, like if it's within the last, let's say, for example, you are arguing for or against, let's say this, let's say your position is that African Americans, more African Americans in America are killed by police per capita versus any other race in the country. There is a wealth of data on that, and you could probably find a bunch of it in Galileo, okay, underneath some of those subjects we had talked about earlier. People make that argument all the time. I hear it all the time, and, and it's funny because person A will say, yeah, that's true, and person B will, see, will say, no, it's not true, and they'll both say the same thing. Look at the data. Well, how are they both relying on the same data, yet... They're interpreting the data differently. Maybe they're looking at different data sets from different sources, okay? It's interesting to think about. Um, 
You know, if, if, if you really pinned me down and asked me, is it all up for debate? I don't think it, it should be all up for debate, like everything. We could argue about everything and anything today, it seems. It seems that there's no objective reality or objective truth. People have their truth. You might have heard that before. Uh, instead of the truth, okay? Um, I think that's the world we're in right now. I don't particularly like that world. I think there is objective truth and there is right and wrong. But that doesn't seem to be where we are as a culture right now. Um, I, I could give you my opinions on that in a longer format, but I, I won't do that right now. I don't know how productive that would be. Um, but that's just kind of my take on things right now uh, when I get into this headspace of argumentation, especially in terms of topical things going on in society and the culture today. Um, so kind of got off on a tangent there, but depending on your topic, um, it could be things we're talking about today that we've been talking about years and years and years up to this point, okay? But if it's something brand new like, you know, Elon Musk launching whatever probe into space, uh, I, I, I don't know how much data is, is on that, but it's worth checking out, okay? Um, you know, maybe you want to make an argument that we will be to Mars in 15 years, Maybe that's an argument you want to make, and maybe you use certain scientific data from the databases, and maybe Tesla uh, has something to say about that. I think Musk had said, if I'm not mistaken, 2030 or something like that. Um, either he or somebody said they plan on a, a, a mission to Mars or something along those lines. So, um, so. I encourage you all to start looking at sources this week, along with, of course, your mandatory assignment, which is the journal article based on what we talked about a few minutes ago, the purpose and function of argumentation today. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you all are doing well, and uh, we are going to transition to the second half of the course in a couple of weeks. So peace. Have a good week. Talk to you next time.